Neil deGrasse Tyson just recently posted his response to Terrence Howard. I'm going to read you just my opening line here. It's titled one times one equals two. So I lead off by saying this is an ambitious work that is a clear indication of a restless active mind. Within these pages, however, there are many assumptions and statements that are underinformed, misinformed, or simply false, thereby compromising or nullifying many of the subsequent conclusions you have drawn. Which is essentially how he came to the conclusion that if you have lithium bonded with any other element, the moment that fluorine is introduced, it will break all bonds violently so it can bond with fluorine. I thought, okay, yeah, that has some truth to it. But digging deeper into his explanation of how he got to that is totally false. He talks about lithium and fluorine being mates. The oxygen is minus two, fluorine is minus one. Now the balance of this, all of those are mates. Fluorine and lithium naturally mate. And that's why fluorine will bond to lithium. 